Hello, today we're going to show you how to adjust your float on your carburetor. We've had a lot of customers ask, they put new jets in and they keep on saying, hey, I put this new jet in, do I need to go to a bigger size jet because it's actually coming out of my overflow, which is this little tube here. Your jet does not have anything to do with the overflow. So we're going to show you how to adjust your float settings on your carburetor. So naturally your carb is going to be on your scooter. Now when you're adjusting this, it's not going to be a quick done and you're through. You are going to have to do it a couple times to get the right setting. So it is a little time consuming, but once you have it, you should be good. So imagine this scooter or this engine on your scooter. Well, you're not going to want to take off the throttle and take this off each time. So what we recommend is you loosen up your clamps and then you're going to turn this. Once you turn this, you have, you're going to have fuel in here. You can crack this open if you want. But what we like to do is once you open this up, it's going to have air in it and it's going to drip out of here. You can put a little tube in here, catch can. So you're going to take off the two screws, just like this. And take out your float. This is your float here. This is what it looks like. I have another carb here, so I can show you what we're going to be looking at. It's a different color. Same pretty much carb. Usually what happens is your float level is too uh, high or low and it would drain out of this tube or a lot of people don't run that tube and it just drains out of here. So what we're going to do is show you what you're going to have to adjust. And we're going to show you how this actually works. So we have already had these screws out. So this is your float. As the fuel fills up the float bowl, this rises and it shuts off the valve. And the valve is right into here. That's your valve. So if you need more fuel, you're going to have it so that it releases uh, less. And if you have, if you need uh, less fuel, which is the case in most often, is that you're going to raise the tab on here so it cuts off sooner. So as you can see here, usually it cuts off right about there even. So what's going to happen is when you're riding your scooter and you notice that you have too much fuel and it comes out, what you're going to do is you're going to take a screwdriver and you're going to look at this little tab right here. Now this little pin right here is actually what's holding the seat. So we'll show you kind of on this what you can do. You can hold this here just like this and gently push up on it and we'll see if we can zoom in on this just a little bit here let's see here let's see if we can get here so what you're going to do i'll show you on the other carb you're going to hold this and push up on it not a lot you push too much up and what it's going to do it's it's going to shut off the carb too soon and then what happen is you'll have a wide open throttle fuel starvation so what you're going to want to do is you just do it just a little bit and you're going to push on this little tab right here and you're going to push it up and what that's going to allow you to do is shut the carb off sooner so it will shut off say here the more you raise it the sooner it's going to shut off. And as you can see here, that's completely open. You can raise that little tab all the way up and it will not have any fuel. So a lot of guys say, hey, what's well, not working for me? It's still putting fuel. Well, if I raise that tab, push that tab all the way up, this is it with no fuel. It's completely cut off. There's no fuel. So this right here is actually where normally it shuts off so you're just gonna push 
on this little tab right here with a screwdriver. Now say you have just the opposite where you need more fuel because that top end you're running out of fuel. Well, what you would actually do is you would take this and you would bend that down. And usually a little flat tip screwdriver you can stick in there and kind of pry it. So if you needed more fuel at top end, you would take a flat tip screwdriver, hold this at the same time, and pry it. Now there's another way you can do this, but this is probably going to take one, two, three, four times of adjustment to get it perfect. Because you're not going to want to have fuel starvation at top end, and at the low end you're not going to want it to have overflow. So that's all going to depend on your scooter. So we'll show you kind of how to take this out. If you pull on this or push down on this with a little pick, um, we'll show you how to actually take this out and how to adjust it uh, a little more precise. So you have this right here. You want to take this pin out. You can just take a small Allen. Let's see if I can focus up on this. This is a small little Allen head. Uh, I know it doesn't come in. Allen head, paper clip, anything. You're going to basically push this out just like this. Pull this. And you're going to see that the needle dropped in your hand. Here's your float. And here's the little tab that you're going to have to bend up. So what you're going to do is you're going to either take needle nose or a screwdriver and you're going to push this up. Or if you have a pair of needle nose. Now, if you're going to bend it down because you need more fuel, you're probably going to have to take it like this and bend it. Just remember, don't go too much. The more you do, you're going to have to go back. Once you get that done, you're going to put this back in. You're going to put your needle back on the hanger. Just like this. Line it up. And you're going to put the pin back in. Put it, it's hanging from the bottom now. So you just hold it here and slide it back. And that's how it works. Just remember, take your time. It's very simple to do. With it hanging like this, you're going to, and I know the camera keeps on going in and out. When it hang like this, usually stock setting is parallel with this, and that's gonna shut it off. If you want to shut it off sooner, you're gonna want it to shut it off not so much parallel. If you want more fuel, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend the tab down so it shuts off. Now this can only go up so much, and it can only go, so as you can see, there's not a lot of room between on and off. So you're not moving that little tab very, very much, just a little bit. On average, five times usually it takes. You're gonna set it, put it in, put your float bowl back on, and then you're going to prime your tank. Now remember this little uh, tube has to go in just right. So let's see if we can And that's why sometimes it's, I know you're not gonna have enough room. All you gotta do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. And this is where it's kind of goes in just like that. It was kind of a pain. Put it on, put your two bolts in. Here. And all your fuel line, your throttle cable, none of that has to change. You don't have to take any of this off. It's probably the most simple. Even your filter can stay on. Tighten them up. Just snug.
turn the car back around, make sure it's even, tighten up, tighten up your manifold here. Either you start a fluid, you can blow in your tank, you need to get fuel back in here, take it for a test ride, see what happens, and repeat the process. That's pretty much it. It's very simple, but it's something that a lot of people do not do, and that's what's going to either stop the overflow, or if you, need, if you have not enough fuel at wide open throttle, you may have to have more fuel. Now, if you have a big bore kit, such as a 232, and you go all the way down and it's still not getting enough fuel, there's other uh, fixes for that. We have an extended float ball that you have more uh, gas in the float. It's an extended float ball because uh, on the big 232cc motors, they consume more fuel than the pump can actually put in. Um, and so we make actually an extended float ball for this and also for the, uh, we make it for the Makuni and for the OKO30. But for the most of the people that are running 171s, this is how you fix the problem. Hope this helps. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, put any comments. And if you have any other questions, feel free to email us. Thank you for watching and have a great day.